Thank you very much. And um, hopefully our panelists will come up to sit down at the table while I do the introduction. Uh, I'm very, very pleased to be here. Um, this session is going to highlight examples of organizations that are on the uh, leading edge of integrating both care delivery and research in, in a way that leads to greater efficiency, better value, and or improved health care. Uh, and to understand the value proposition for, from their perspective, its components, and what's led some organizations to uh, embrace and succeed in gaining value in this way. Um, I'm, and, and as they're sitting down before I introduce them, when I came to PAMFRI, the research institute within PAM from UC after uh, 30 years uh, at the university, um, PAMF had a long history of supporting biomedical research, a long story to explain why a large medical group did that. Um, we converted to doing clinical research and health services research, and the response from the CEO and the, and the board was, now we understand what you're doing. Uh, and that's because we focus on questions and opportunities within the delivery system. That makes the research better. They see the value to it. So what I'd like to do now is introduce the panel members. Susan Huang from University of uh, California, Irvine, is an associate professor in the Division of Infectious Diseases and Health Policy Research uh, in, in that institute at UC Irvine uh, School of Medicine. And she's also medical director uh, of epidemiology and infection prevention at UC Irvine Health. Her clinical epi research has focused on healthcare-associated infections identifying the population burden, risk factors for acquisition, disease sequelae, and preventive strategies for cost for containment. We can sort of see the value proposition coming out of that. Um, um, Umuka Kodagal, who is on uh, the organizing committee, is at Cincinnati Children's Hospital, um, leading the Improved Care Now Network. Uh, she's Senior Vice President for Quality, Safety, and Transformation and Executive Director of the James M. Anderson Center for Health Systems Excellence at Cincinnati Children's. Uh, as Director of the Anderson Center, she oversees the development of disease management teams and development and institution of evidence-based clinical practice guidelines. David Grossman from Group Health Cooperative is currently Medical Director for Population and Purchaser Strategy at Group Health and also a Senior Investigator at the Group Health Research Institute. As a senior medical enterprise medical director, he serves as the medical director assisting with population strategy for some of Group Health's largest purchasers and leads the new enterprise strategy on population health management. And he's overseeing the development of clinical guidelines uh, for preventive and care management uh, interventions and policy. And then finally, we'll hear from Ed Havernack at Denver Health who leads the high-value healthcare collaborative efforts there. He directs the Center of Health Systems Research in Denver Safety Net Healthcare System. The center is engaged in a broad range of activities, including Denver Health's engagement in the high-value healthcare collab collab collaborative and developing patient-centered outcomes research infrastructure with a grant from AHRQ. Um, so uh, Susan, if you could please come up first. And then I'll be sitting down and watching. <laughs> 